Begin the current Dab, the second Psalm of Dab Tezayim. Begin on the bottom line of Tezbab and Bebeid. It was a little bit of a discussion regarding the proof, the interpretation we gave for the Allah and the Mishnah. We had the interpretation, we had two different interpretations how to explain the Machlik is in the Mishnah regarding if, if, if it's a comparison from the Halacha of the Khaninis Kavi Kahanam for the Halacha that Ramei wanted to say regarding if you could burn Truma to Hayu or Truma to Mei on Erev Pesach. We had an interpretation of Shlokesh, or an interpretation of Yechon. According to Rabbi Yechon's interpretation, <coughs> it was from Kamin's Kamin Kamin. So now, what was, what was then Rabbi Yechon disagreeing? says, in the Yechon. So the Gemara ultimately explained from Rabbi Yechon, they were talking about meat that became tummy from liquids, which became tummy from a shell. <coughs> so what's the Machlech? Like? We said that the disagreement is regarding if Tumas Mashkin and Tamachem is Drabano or Dairaisa. The mayor holds is Drabano, so therefore it's exactly like his case that we said at the true Matayim in the sixth hour is rabbinically problematic, then you see that you can make it biblically problematic. Rabbi Yisi held that no, Tumas Masha and Tamachem is dead, right? So, so that case that you're explaining, which is the case, you don't see that you can, t- you can take something that's rabbinically problematic and make it be biblically problematic, because it's, it, it is biblically problematic, because it had a Tumma dead, right? So that's where we're in the middle of that discussion, which we're going to bring, we're going to bring a Bryce that shows this machlik is Rameer and Basi, and then parenthetically, we're going to quote a different Tama, but then we're going to get in discussion to explain that time. She's corresponding to Kazakh and the Kesk, or any time that we're we should have been joining us for today's da'af. Some of the things we're in today's da'af are actually a different time in that price that we're going to quote. Rebbe Lazar, whether he holds that liquids are coming only with Rabbaman or also with the Raisa. Then we have a Machlegis Rabbi Shmuel regarding liquids from base mit bechaya. It's important that word because we'll see there's a word base mit bechaya, which is, sounds similar but it's the test or a dalad. But mit bechaya is from the word of tabach regarding the butchering area of the base amigdash, were the liquids over there tame or not. Some of the important t- uh, terms and concepts we're discussing today is what's called revi'i bakhaitish. Regarding regular food, what's called chulin, so you can't make it a lower level of tumma than a shame like Shuma, which is more severe, can become a shlishi. Kachim can become even a revi, it becomes what we call a pasal because it can't make it anything else tummy, so if it's not called tummy, it's called pasal. Tamatamsis is the leftover blood, that's not the lifeblood of an animal that uh, is, is, is not called the dam ha nefesh, it's called the dam ha the leftover blood. And kaimitz is the fistful of the flower from this bird on the mizbeach. <coughs> so, what we're about to discuss now, we're about to quote a brysa that quotes four opinions of Thomas Mashkin and the regarding both Thomas Atzman, becoming Tumma themselves, and the Tamachim transmitting Tumma to others. And we're going to quote four different Tanoim, which then is going to relate to the halacha of the, some of the Zati halachas we have a machlek. Again, everyone agrees with Rabbanan, it has Thomas Atzman, and it will be with Tamachim. The question is regarding. The, the actual pr- biblical parameters. Says in the title of the Mabraisa, where the last word of the Tezbala is, which again we're coming to show you this machlik is remain your Yesu regarding if Thomas Mashkin, which a liquid can be talking about other things, is that biblical or only rabbinic? Again, that's why we said that their machlik is if that if it's rabbinic or deraisa, if you could learn out from Khadim's Kanzakam case, which has liquid be talking other things, that was the meat that was a shlishi if that meat was rabbinically tummy, because the liquid that was with tummy is only rabbinic, and again, then that's the case of Gemayi's case, but all the Gemayi's is the Raisa, then the Pchidim's case is the Raisa, and you can't learn anything from there regarding what you want to see with Truman Torah and Truman which is rabbinic. So that is the Gemayi's case of 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 the Gemayi's case. Let's say there was a doubt that, came up, that was regarding a liquid, regarding its inception of it, if it's tummy. For example, let's say a tummy person stuck out his leg, between liquids that were touched. Now we're not sure, did this tummy person touch the liquids? Did he not? So that's a case of Suffolk Mashkin. The, the liquids themselves, we're not sure if it's tummy. Now says the Brysa, Litame, regarding the doubt of the liquids themselves becoming tummy, tummy. Out of the doubt, the liquids will be tummy. Why? Because this time the whole, Thomas Mashkin, the tummy of liquids for themselves to become tummy, that's the biblical Allah. Like it says the person in the Yukra. So the Chamashka Asha Yishasa, any beverage which will be drunk, if we're going to, etc., that there, there's a halacha that the liquids can become tummy, that's a biblical law. So, therefore, that's the classic halacha, suffering dairy rice. So, the me have a doubt regarding biblical law, it goes stringently. Again, that's regarding the liquids becoming tummy. But let's say you have a doubt regarding liquids, letame acherim, to make tummy other things, which Rashi explains, for example, of let's say someone had a stick in his hand, and on the tip of this of the stick was liquids that were tummy. Then he threw that stick amongst uh, Tahar loaves of bread. I'm not sure did it touch those bread, did it not? That's a subject of mashkel tamachem. It's a doubt regarding these tamachem liquids. Were they the tamachem other things? 
as we explained in the set this tires. So there, that love is going to be tar. Those loaves are going to be tar. Why? Because this Tana holds that regarding tummy beverages and tummy other things, that law is only rabbinic. It's not biblical. In other words, he doesn't expound, as some do, when it says there in the Pasuk Yitma, which means that the liquids will come tummy, in the word of Yitame. You could put the Nikudis otherwise and say, oh, we're going to tell about other things. He doesn't expound it like that. So therefore, it's, it's a rabbinic doubt. And he a rabbinic doubt, you go sub and and Lakula. That's the Rameir. If you recall, that's exactly what we said on the previous year regarding Rameir's opinion. So you can learn that from Chanin and Kahan, if the case of the Shlishi was a sharet to a kli, to a, a, a liquid to a kli, to then a, a piece of meat, which is a Shlishi, it's rabbinically only tummy. Because the liquids was one of the things being tummy, and that's only rabbinically tummy. If that's what Chanin and Kahan the case, it's exactly as Truma Tere, Truma Tamei, in the sixth hour, where the Truma Tere is rabbinically problematic, and you're bringing with your Truma Tamei to make it a biblical problem. That's Rameir's opinion. And the Chinon of Ha'yu Rebbe Loza and Rebbe Loza, Rebbe Loza also said like a man. That's what we're going to get into Rebbe Loza's opinion actually shortly. He's not the main reason why I bring it in, but once we bring it in, we're going to discuss it. Rebbe Yehuda, in the third time, he says, he's going on the halacha of the doubt of a liquid to be metallic other things. He says, Lakol, whenever you have a doubt regarding this liquid, if it touched any tar of things, this liquid that's coming, whether it, the doubt was regarding touching vessels, where there was the doubt regarding this liquids that were tummy if they touched food items. Either way, we'll call for everything. Tummy, out of doubt, that thing is going to be tummy. Why? Because he holds, interestingly, like Rashi brings, that liquids that are tummy, they make vessels tummy mid raisa. The reason is because it says there in the Pasuk, Ma'ashi Yishas Bechokli Yitma, whatever will be drunk in any vessel will become tummy. He expounds the word Yitma Yitami. And the fact that it says in near Kli sounds like that it's only going to biblically be Matame a Kli. And that's how it's expounded in Torah's claim. So therefore, when you have a doubt, it's a Sveka de Rice, it's specifically regarding Kalim, and therefore in the Rosh Yachin, you'll take the Suffolk out of Suffolk, you'll make it that it's going to be Tame. Because regarding Kalim, it's the Rice. And, 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 and therefore, he says that whenever it's going to, even regarding a Kali, it's going to make it Tame. But the other two Tanaim, Rib Yisi, Rib Shimonim, they say no. They differentiate. Le Eichlin, regarding food items. In other words, if this doubt was regarding touching a food item, for example, if you have liquids that were tummy, that were poured amongst the loaves of bread, but not sure did it touch the breads or not, then to me, then it's going to be tummy. Because they hold that liquids that are tummy, they make food items biblically tummy. So therefore, when you have a suffolk in your shasayach, it's going to be tummy. But like Kalim, regarding vessels, if let's say this doubt happened regarding vessels, for example, let's say there were tummy liquids that were poured amongst vessels, not sure did it touch or did it not touch, then to Hayrin, then actually those vessels out of doubt are going to be tar wine, because they hold that liquids are metami vessels only rabbinically. And therefore, since it's a doubt, we weren't geyser. The reason for this is because Rabbi Yisim and Yishim, they expound Yitma Yitami like Rabbi Yehuda. However, as it's taught actually later on the Perakin of Yitches, they hold it's not going on vessels. That, uh, that brings over there, you would think it's metame vessels. Also, it's only on it's only food items. So again, that's the end of the price. So, but one thing we see from this price is clearly, we just quoted Rebyesi, who he says that the tome of liquids is the erisa. He differentiates between uh, kalim, says kalim or not, but according to food items, which is what we're discussing, that's going to be uh, biblical. And the male holds is on rabbinic. So therefore, that is why they have a machlikis, and it's minamida to learn out the case of Truma Taira, to be metame with Truma Tamea, which is rabbinic to a biblical, to learn that out from the case of Rebchidin Skadikadim. Because Rebchidin Skadikadim is either going to be the rest of the Rabban, depending on the, if you're old, Thomas Mashkin, the Tamar Eichin, is the rest of the Rabban. Okay, that was now, that explained that machlikis. The thing now is that the Gemara gets into the discussion now with one of the other Tanan that we parenthetically mentioned. The Sabri Malaz, is that really Sabri Malaz? Holds mashkin is the that he holds that there even, is even a biblical tuma regarding liquids at all, even regarding themselves becoming tummy. In other words, we quoted him as the second tana. We had a mayor who said regarding the liquids themselves becoming tummy. Oh, then we'll say subject there is because the liquids themselves becoming tummy. That is regarding the time other things that a mayor says no, that you're going to go lakula because the old subject that he holds tumas mashkin the time is only rabbinical. But at least Rebbe holds, it sounds like, but regarding the Tuma of the liquids themselves, that that's their right sin. But, but Tanya, it seems to be a contradiction. Rebbe I mean, he says, in Tuma Lamashkin, 
There is no biblical tumma for beverages, for liquids, call liquor at all, even for themselves to become tummy. I, what do you do? It's an explicit passing in the Torah, called Mashkasha Yashasa. It says that any liquid, any liquid that, will, that will be drunk, they can become tummy. So the actually explains later on, that's actually not regarding tumma, it's actually regarding hechsha, regarding making food items susceptible to tumma, as we'll explain later on. And, but says the Lazar, there's no tumma for liquids at all biblical. Take that, and he says you should know this, that there's no tumma biblically for liquids at all, even for the liquids to themselves become tummy. It says, Shari hey, Yaisi ben Yezir Shred, because Yaisi ben, ben Yezir Shred testified regarding two things. Uh, Ayel Kamsa, regarding this type of a grasshopper that's called Ayel Kamsa, that dachin, that it's pure, meaning that it's, it's kosher to be eaten. And also, and this is the main one, Falmashkin Beis Mit on the beverages of the butchering house in the courtyard of the Beis Amitosh. For example, there's blood and water in a butchering house. That dachin, that they're pure, that they're not makabal so obviously the term of liquids are only rabbinically, and therefore you could say, oh, but the Rabbanim are not geyser by the butchering house in the base of Mekdash. Just because of a loss of kachim, if you can become tummy, you can have a great loss of kachim. You don't want to create a loss of kachim. Because if the term of liquids was biblical, how could Rabbanim have said, that's going to be taller, or you can't undo a, a, a deraisa. Obviously, and this is our contradiction, so you see Rabbi Lazar, who is bringing Yaisir ben Yezer, it's straight, that saying that there's no term of liquids Talk, that contradicts what we quoted in the previous Raisa. So the Gemara says, okay, it's not so difficult. Hanicha, you could explain this, that you're telling me that according to the laws that there is Tumma, as we said in the previous Raisa, Lishmul. Because the Amma, he explains this uh, statement of Yehesa ben Yehezer, that Dachin, what does it mean that it's pure? In the butchering house in the base of Mikdash, Nazara, is Mulatami Tumma Sacher. It's only pure from transmitting Tumma to other things. Avot Tumma Sasma Yeshlahan. But regarding the, their own tama that they do have, oh, it's a shopper. So that, that makes sense. So you could answer that this, that Rebbe Lazar had said from Yisrael ben Yezer, that there's no tama from Ashkin, that's going to tell me other things. And the reason why we would say that is because who is he learning from? From Yisrael ben Yezer. That's who he's being Uriah. And Yisrael ben Yezer, as Shmuel explains, is only regarding being the other things. So it's not a difficulty. For their own thing, for, the, for their own tama that it does have, that, you know, that he's saying like a mayor. But the tama other things, it doesn't have. Al-Rabba, according to Rab, nobody that he said, Dachim Mamish, he says that no. Reis, when he has said, that it's totally pure, even from its own Tumah. So obviously, your Lazar is also saved from its own Tumah. So by Kamen, what are you going to say? There's definitely a contradiction. The first verse we quoted on the top was saying that the Lazar holds that there is Tumah's Atma Midei Raisa. Here he's quoting a testimony from Yes, when he has this trade that, that there's no Tumah whatsoever, even from their own Tumah. So Imam Nachman Yitzchak, he says, it's not a difficulty, because Achado, on one of the teachings, this day Rebbe was saying in the, in the Bryce on the top of the Amen, that he's, he also says, Kedvar of other mayor, that's only regarding the Matami, other things that we're going to say that it's going to be Tahar. The mayor said two sakes, a suffix regarding itself, regarding other things. He said regarding itself, it's going to be there, right? So regarding other things, it's going to be Tahar. When the Jerusalem doesn't say the Gemara was regarding the Tami other things, then it's going to be tar. But regarding the Tami Tami, the Gemara said regarding the subject if itself is going to be Tami, that it's going to be Tami, that he doesn't hold like him. Because actually, you're not going to hold that that's, that, that, that's going to be uh, only rabbinic. Because he holds that it doesn't have any Tami Tami, even they're rice. The Big Mark doesn't like this answer. Because Mahakadvar have come in the Fishi. But the problem is, is that he says, in the Bryce says he holds like Devarav. Of Rameh, which sounds like a lot. It sounds like not just one teaching. Rameh is like two teachings. Can't say Kidvarav, Kidvarai would be singular. Kidvarav is plural. And if it says Kidvarav, it sounds like going on both. And Vahay Morva says, Vahavachain Kitani. The word Vahain sounds like that he's saying exactly what Rameh said. It says more Kasha. There's definitely a, a difficulty according to Rav. How do we resolve uh, this uh, statement of, 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 of the, of the Brysa? It sounds like that, on the one hand, the first price, it sounds like Rebbe holds Tumas Mashkin, Latame Atzman, for their own term, is Dei Raisa, because Rebbe Lazar like the man. The second teaching we brought from Yisman Yazid is that, that Rebbe Lazar is quoting, it sounds like he holds that it doesn't have any Tumma whatsoever, the way Rav explains it, different, that's a difficult. Now, Gufi, the Gemara goes to explain now this Machlekes, uh, and to quote it in its entirety. Rav Amar, he says, regarding the Mashkin Vizmit Machayah, liquids in the butchering house in the Azar and the Vesemigdash, Dochin Mamash. 
When we said that they're pure, they're totally pure. It didn't have any time, not only not to be time other things, but even the liquids themselves didn't become tame. Mishmolame, he says, no, dachim the tame to masachem. It's only pure from being tame other things. But the liquids themselves couldn't become tame. So he more explains. Rav, how do you understand this whole thing? Because Rav says this, that it's totally pure. That he was saying that Yeshe ben Yezer holds Thomas Mashke. The Tumah of liquids, even for their own Tumah, is only the Rabbana, it's only Rabbinic. Oh, so the Chigaz Rabbana. So when the Rabbana goes with this Tumah of liquids, the Mashke Dalma, the beverages in general in the room. Or the Mashke Mesa of Mechayim, like Gaza, but you can say that the beverages in the Mesa of they weren't Gaza, because they didn't want to cause a loss of Kachi. Okay, that makes sense why you could say that it doesn't have even its own Tumah. But Shmuel and Shmuel said, that no, Dachal and Tamit Thomas Achem, you used to the hell that it's only pure from even Tamit other things. Our Thomas asked me yesterday, but even in the base of Migdash, it did have its own Tumah. You know why? Because Kisab, because Yezim and Yezim held Thomas Mashkin Atzma De Raisa. The Tumah of liquids itself is biblical because that's really a passing in the Torah. Chamash Kashay Yishasa. It talks about explicitly that liquids will also become Tamit. But the Tamit Achem, the Rabbana, but for the ability of liquids to be Tamit other things, that's only rabbinic. Because Rabbanu never went with the Rabbanu Geyser, the Mashkin Alma that's regarding the liquids in the world in general. But the Mashkin is not the Chayim and Gaza, but regarding the beverages in the Beis Amigdash, that in the butchering house, that they weren't Geyser. And the Chayim and Gaza Rabbanu, but again, when would the Rabbanu not Geyser? It's a Tumor Yachem, only that it can't turn into Tumor Tana things. I'm Tumor Sat, but Yeshua, but regarding its own Tumor, of course, it's going to have, because that's biblical. And the Rabbanu are not going to remove, a, not, they're not able to remove a biblical law. Now the Gemara discusses. At length, and now asks on Shmuel from one place, and it's going to ask from Rav from six different places on this machlek is regarding the mashke basement mechaya if it's going to have the ability to have Tumas Atzman or not. And again, that's based on the, the machlek is if Tumas mashke under Rabbanan or the Reis. I'm going to have a point in the library. A point in the said to his son, he eyeless like a made a when you come from your papa, Ramile asked him the following difficulty. Me or Mishmul did Shmuel really say Dachim Leitam Etam Asar Chayim that the liquids in the butchering house in the Azara are only tar from Bimetami other things? I'm a Tumas Asim Yeshlam. But regarding their own Tumah, you're telling me that the liquids in the Beis could become Tami? But then you have the following difficulty. Kri Khan, you should recite over here. In other words, although the liquids are not going to be Metami, the food items of Chulin, biblically, because you're saying that Tumah Leitam Etam is only rabbinic. But the problem is, regarding Kachim, you have to recite the following Pasuk in the Yikra. The Pasuk says, the Habasr, which is regarding the meat of Kachim, Ashi Yige Bechol Tameh, that will touch anything that's Tameh. Lo Yeachil, you can't eat that Kachim meat. Now, since you're telling me that liquids for themselves to become Tameh are biblically Tameh, so then when you have Basr Kachim, when you have holy meat that touches that liquid, the liquid, yeah, that, 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 that when meat touches that liquid, then it touched something Tameh. It says in the touch of Bechol Tame, Lo Yaachal, you can't eat it. So the Pasuk is explicitly telling you <clears throat> that the liquids in the Azar will be Matama, other things. What do you mean, why? I thought you told me it's only Drabban, it's not the Raisa. But the Pasuk is telling you if it touches Bechol Tame, which the liquids are Tame, then you can't eat the meat. So how are you telling me that the Master Mesh is not going to be Matama, other things because it's only Rabbinic, it's not biblical? <laughs> What's the difference? Who cares? The, but the term is telling you that if the meat touches anything that's tummy, which the liquids are tummy, atzma, you tell me Thomas atzma, they do have biblical, so then it's going to make it tummy by default because the Pasuk says that. So Rav Sheh should read the meat. He says, no, meat in the Hagar Ravi by Kaidish. So it's going to be the same thing like you have by Kachim, what's called it by Ravi. As we mentioned in the introduction, is generally by Kulun it goes to Lashani, by Trim it goes to Lashishi, by Kachim it goes to Ravi. By, when you have a Ravi by Kachim, it itself is invalid. But it will not be metami other kachim. So here also the liquids, although in itself can become tami, it will not be metami other things. And that's why the mashkim made from the chai when we say dachin is pure from metami other things, although in itself biblically is tami and not metami other things, just like ravi. But the gemara doesn't like this mashkim or ravashi. <coughs> says ravi by kaidish. When you have a level ravi of tami by kachim, lo ikri tami, it's not called tami. And we all and we know from the kavachimer that it's going to be hustle. That's how we know it's, that there is such a thing as a Ravi. But it's not Tommy. So therefore, whenever we touch something of Kachim, the way like Rashi says it, we won't call it Basra Shehiga Bechal Tommy, because not Tommy, it's only Pasal. But Ha'ikri Tommy. Here the liquids are Tommy, they're not Pasal, they're Tommy. And the time is calling them Tommy. So 
how could you say that it's not going to be mitami of meat of kachim, which it says about So if you want kasha, that's a difficult according to Shmuel. How does he explain this pasuk based on his interpretation that Thomas Asman has tamei deraisa? It's just matamei chen that's only rabbinic. Then why the mitzvah English is not being matamei kachim meat if it's baser that's touching bechol tamei and it is a tamei thing? Now the Gemara goes to ask on Rav for six different places. Tashma says in the in the Ibraisa, it says in the Pasik in, in the Yikra, it says over there, from every food item which you're gonna eat that will come on it any water, it's going to be tamik. And the Pasik continues, from Mashka and any beverage that you that you're gonna drink, a kli yikra, and any vessel is going to become tamik. Now this Pasik is talking about by a kli chas, by earthenware vessel, there's Makal Tuma from a sherat. And what does the Pasik say? Whatever's inside of it, it's going to be tummy from any food item, etc. And it says, and any beverage that you're going to drink in any vessel is going to become tummy. Now, the Gemara assumes that it sounds like from the simple understanding of the Pasik, that what the Pasik is saying is whether there's food items in the vessel, whether there's beverages in the vessel, they're going to be tummy. Now, so although that we're not expounding the word yitma, that it'll become tummy to say yitami, they'll make other things tummy, but at least its own tumma is going to become tummy. That's the Pukan Rav. Rav says that liquids don't have any tumma even with their right at all. With their right, even their own tumma. But the Pasuk is explicitly saying that every beverage can become tummy. So says, you want to know, my yitma, what does it mean the Pasuk will become tummy? It means hirsha. It means to say that it will make food items susceptible to tumma if it comes in contact with the liquid. So Rashi explains. And the Pasuk says, but what is it? What? What is the word ishose? Yeah, any beverage that, is, that you do drink, it's one of the seven types of liquids that you drink. Rashi explains. He says, it says in the Pasuk, whatever's inside the rhythm of vessel can come tummy from the shadows, from every food item that water comes on it, or if it's going to come on it, any liquid that you usually drink in any vessel, it's, it's a continuation of the beginning of the Pasuk. If you look at the Pasuk, some Gemara's have the Pasuk there on the side. From any food item that you need to eat that comes in that liquid will become tummy, and any beverage that you drink in any vessel also will make it the ability to become tummy. The food item will become tummy because the liquid prepared it was called hefsher because of the, now that it's in the ear's place of a, of a klicheres, it's tummy. The point is, the whole mashke is one thing that machsher the kabotime, that from mashke, you can see that's machsher the kabotime. But when you say asher ishose, you're not talking about uh, it's defining mashke. the mashke. It's defining so it's defining that because you're going to drink it. We know mashke is something that you drink. But that's true, not every mashke is, meta- is mashke. And seven times Yad Shachadam. It has to be something that's a mashke. <coughs> it's Tafka mashke Asher Yishasa that's, that's a considered. I don't know why Asher Yishasa. Well, Dam is not Yishasa. It is. That's what we call it a mashke. It's actually in the past. It's not Yishasa. Right. But it is called a mashke Asher Yishasa. It's a mashke in the Yeah, I know the word mashke. Yeah, yeah, okay, it's saying but I'm saying anyway, we watch. According to Pashta, why is the Asher Yishasa either? Yes. Well, any, if let's say it was. So that's why it sounds like we're talking about. What is that? Yishasa. Yishasa means that every. Why does it have to become as a mashkin? I hear it. You have to know how to type the person. It's not really relevant to this discussion. It's in general what's Asher Yishasa teaching, unless it's teaching the qualification of the mashkin. And the mashkin. But, but what the Gemara is saying is that Yitma is actually not saying that the liquid will come to Someone that will be machshir food at the Kabbalah So the Gemara says, wait a second, Hirshir? Does it come and teach me that it can prepare food items to make them vulnerable to tumma? Marish the crush out of You already know from the beginning of the Pasik. The Pasik starts from the call Echel Asher Yachim Begoyer. Any food items that you're going to eat, etc. What does the Pasik say? Asher Yachim Begoyer, Mayim, that water is going to come and it's going to come to tummy. So what did you learn out from the end of the Pasik? You already said about that it can make food items to separate the tumma. So I think, well, that's not difficult. There's two things. Chad with Tlushim. One is by water that's detached. The, the end of the Pasik is saying, Bechol Kli. If it's in a vessel, obviously the water was detached from its source, and that was saying that even there it's going to be machsha. V'chad ben mechubarin. And the beginning of the pasuk is talking about the water in their natural area where it's attached to the ground, which Tasty points out from the Rivah. It does. It, it just means that the, the, the food item touched it when it was attached. But of course you have to take it out of the water because if it's there when it's touching, actually it's not susceptible to tumah as it says in the Sefer Machshir. We're talking about that even if it touched the water when it was attached, that's the two cases that we're telling you that the liquid's going to be maksha. And the Gemara says, I have to say both of them. Why? Yes, we the solution. Had we only said the halacha that when it's detached, what's called bachal which is the same for the pasik, that it's going to be maksha, that's mishum naqshavinu. 
because you, you considered it significant, because since you went and you filled up a bowl of this liquid, you revealed that you obviously need it, and that's its chashivas. I'm a bluchu bar, and they will lie, but if it's attached to the ground, I would say that that liquid is not significant, and therefore it wouldn't make food on the table. So I'll have to say that. Now, we tried bluchu bar, and I said only when it's attached to the ground, should the kind of be the chtaif, and it's the original source, therefore chashivi. That's why it'd be significant. Of a tolution, it's attached, and will lie, I would say it's not significant. So it's really, they have to say both, and therefore it's not difficult on round, because we don't see that there's a halacha of that the liquids are becoming tummy. Although the simple translation of the passage sounds like that, Rav is explaining that it's regarding pasture that makes food out of the tummy. Okay, Tashma, the Gemara says another question now from a passage in a Yikra. The passage says, Ach, mayin ubar, but a spring or a cistern, mikveh, mikveh mayin, a gathering of water, yitar, it's going to be tar, which is coming to tell us that since the, the, the water is attached to the ground, it's, it's not going to be tummy. But it sounds like if the water is detached from the ground, it is Makal That's the Makal Tumma, who says that liquids are never going to be Makal Tumma in the day right? so, It says, more, no, my yitar. What does it mean the liquids are good, that it's going to be tar? It means mitumase from its Tumma. In other words, if a Tumma <coughs> item it gets, uh, gets dipped into a spring or a cistern of a gathering of water, that item is going to be tar because you did feel on it. So what's the passive teaching? But if you did shuvin, if you drew the water, then it's not going to be tar. But it's not telling you regarding the water being tar. The water is always tar. It's saying that the item that you put into the water is going to be tar. And then the Gemara goes back to ask on what we mentioned before on the first question. We have answered for Rav that the pasuk of mikolch mashka sheyishas mechol kli yitma wasn't talking about the, the water becoming tamei. It was talking about regarding the hexer. And one is it's going to be maksher if it's attached to the ground, and one is regarding pollution. Now the Gemara goes back to ask on that. Pollution, is that really so that when you have water that's detached, that it's, not, that it's, that it's um, going to make food out susceptible to dumma? As Rashi explains, it's specifically asking regarding water, because water that's attached is not significant. But other beverages, that wasn't a question, because obviously other beverages, if, if the Torah says that they're going to be top of other things, they're all pollution. Only water is attached to the ground. But we're asking at least on water. Is it really make food on the with the tamal? But the Amar Rizri B'chanin, he says, Mashkin Beismit B'chayilam, the beverages of the butchering house of the Azar and the Beismidosh, Loi Dayan Shein Dachem. Not only is it enough that it's pure, like we mentioned before, that was the testimony of Yis Ben Yezza, which we had a Mufligis regarding what does that mean, El Hashem Yachshirin, but it doesn't even make food on the Zephyr with the tamal. Now, obviously, that the law of Hechshirin of pollution of detached water is rabbinic. Why? If it was biblical, how could the Rabbanan have removed the ability of a biblical law in the Mashtan basement Mechai? Obviously, it's only rabbinic. So, how could Rav explain the Pasik in the Tyra that the liquids, the water of pollution is going to be mafshir food and gulgamo tumma? That's what the Sefer the Pasik is talking about. Bechol Kli, that when it's in the vessel, it's attached. What do you mean? You see clearly that it's not the Rice, it must be Rabbanan, because then how could Mashtan basement Mechai not be mafshir? So it's more, it's not difficult. Tirgum would translate this that we said, that the liquids in the basement of Bechai and Nazar are not maksher, is going specifically all down. There's many different liquids in the butchering house. But too much specifically, the blood, that liquid in the basement of Bechai is not maksher, but not on the water. Water is, like we see from the Pasi, that mm-hmm. Rabbi explained. Now, it's the blood of Kachim that the Taira removed from its ability to be maksher, <coughs> as Rabbi says, because I'm Rabbi 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 and we do we know that the blood of a carbon, if, if it comes in contact with a, with a solid, does not prepare to make it separate from the Kabbalah Shalom says, Pasi in the bottom. Pasi says, you shouldn't eat the, the blood. On the ground, you should spill it like water. Or what does that mean, you should spill it like water? The blood of a chulun animal, which you're not concerned to receive in the vessel, you don't have to do any Kabbalah, so it spills like water. That's maksha. That makes the food items susceptible to tumma because the pasuk is comparing the blood to water. But the blood of kachim, you have to do one of the four avoidances in every carbon is kabbalah. You have to receive it in the vessel because you have to use it to do zrika on the mizbeach. So it's not spilled to go to get uh, to waste like water. So therefore, it's not mashim because where do we learn that the laws of hashem tumma from water, as we said in the other pasuk, it has to be similar to water. That's only regular blood. But the blood of kachim, which does not go to waste, not mishpach kamayim. So that's not going to be mafshim. So it's a kid in Tamad Beis, therefore, dam she'inim nishbach kamayim, 
blood that's not spilled like water, like the blood of Kachim, is in a Machshad that does not prepare a food empty receptacle to tell that it's not difficult on Rav, that you're right, that water that's detached in the Azara is going to be Machshad. The Bryce that said that the Mashkin basement of the not only are they themselves tar, which is what we said with it itself, or regarding other things, but we're going to be Machsha, it won't be Machsha. What do you mean Machsha? I thought you told me pollution is Machsha in the Raisa, that's regarding water, and also blood, but not the blood of Kachin, because the blood of Kachin is not Nishbach Kamayim, and therefore won't have that ability to be Machsha of the But then the Gemara asks another question. But Maske of Lorav Shmuel Bar Ami, this, what we just said a moment ago, we have the interpretation of Rabbi Yechidah, who told us this drasha, that only blood that spills like water is machshir, but the dam of kachin that's not, ma- that's not spilled like water is not machshir. But how read You have the leftover blood, which is not fit to be used for the zrika on the mizbeach for the avayda. Because the Pasik says, kiadamu ba nefesh ichap. The blood that is in the soul, that atones which is the blood that a soul of the animal leaves with, that atones. But if the soul doesn't leave with that blood, it doesn't atone. Which the damatons is the left of the blood, the animal's already dead when that blood's coming out. So you see that even though the neshbach kamai, even though it spills like water, again, because it, they, you don't do the kabbalah on that blood, and yet ve'ina machshur, yet it doesn't go ahead and make the other food items susceptible to tomo. So... So the, 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 and the reason how we know that because the Beis Bechanina and the previous price it said all the liquids of Beis Bechaya, which includes the blood, which we're talking about is going to the blood, and that's even the Damatansis. So you see that's the Gaon Rabbi Yechiel, because he sp- he explains specifically if it's not spilling like water, but here it does spill like water and still not Masha. So the Reb Zayir says Hanach the Damatansis says leave alone, don't ask on me from the Damatansis left of the blood, because I feel the Machul and the Masha. That blood, forget about my conscience. Even regarding Kulin, it doesn't matter. You must going to explain right now the reason. Kid Lemine Rav Shmuel Bar Ami. Rav Shmuel Bar Ami received the interpretation of this halacha from Rav Zeira. Why uh, is the Damatamsis, the left of a blood, the remnant's blood, never makshur a food item? It's one of the seven liquids. Yad Shach Adam is the mnemonic for things that are, and Dam is one of them. Because Amach Malatari says in Devan, Rak Chazak, or rather you should be strong, God's warning the Jewish people. The Vilti Achaladam, not to eat the blood. Kadam Wa Nafesh, because the blood is the soul. Ah, says the Gemara, Dam Shad Nafesh Yetzibah. The blood that is the soul, that the soul needs, that the, because our life depends on our blood, it's called the, 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 the life blood. And the blood but but Karadam, that's called blood. Dam Shad Nafesh Yetzibah, but if the blood that the soul is not leaving with, it's the remnant blood, ain't a Karadam. That's not cold blood. And because it's not cold blood, that's why it's not going to be Mashi. Because only what's cold blood is called a mashka, like a person of Mamin Bucham Gimel, the dam chalol of Yishta, the blood of the slain they'll, they'll drink, and that's called a, a, a liquid, that's called dam, that's mimachshe. Like it says, we call mashka she yishase. And we said that's going on hechshe. But it's not called dam, it's not called a, a, a mashka. And that's why the dam of says, is not going to be mashka. So that's not only dam by kachim, that's even machum. But the life blood by kachim is ain't an ishtar kamayim, that's not going to be mashka, something else. For Tomo. But the Gemara continues asking on Rav regarding that he holds that even regarding Thomas Atzman, they don't have a, a Hechsher. The Gemara says, Tashima. Gemara asks him the following Bryce. Bryce says, Dam Shinitma, regarding blood that became Tame. In the base of Megdush, Zarko, and they threw it on the Mizbeach. So the Shagi gave a Zamba and the Spake Hurza. So the carbon has a piece for the owner. And the reason is because although things that are tummy you're not supposed to do that void of it, but the tzitz, the, the, the head plate that the Kohen God would wear, that was marat, that would atone if, if an avoid was done in a state of tummy. But maybe if the person did it deliberately, Lloyd Hortza, it's not going to be considered valid that the meat of the carbon should be able to be eaten by the Kahanam, and that's a penalty. But of course, as Rashi, the Kahanam, the owners have a kapara, as the Gemara says, Nibamas and the Tzadik because since biblically, the tzitz is maratz, even if they do it deliberately. But Abana cannot come and say, you didn't do a good job, you have to bring another animal, that would be chulun for that zone. But one thing we see is that the blood that became tummy, that it's talking about regarding if you did the spraying, the zrika with it or not, but something you see is that the dam of kachin, which is mashkin based mitvachai, is the liquids from the butchering house, that it is become tummy. So obviously, the liquids themselves have a biblical tummy, and then you have to say, when Yesu ben Yesu said there's dach and there's tar, must have been like Shmuel, it's tar from your tummy other things. But it itself has tummy. 
Well, that's the Tumah called Anrav. Says the Gemara, no. The truth is that the Tumah of, li- of liquids in the, uh, in the Azara, in the Basin English, was only rabbinic. This Tumah of the blood is <coughs> it's rabbinic. And this, you're going to ask, wait a second. But Yeshim and Yez has said a testimony that regarding rabbinic Tumah, they didn't make exera on the liquids in the butchering house. This Tana obviously is with like Rabbi Yishim and Yez. So it obviously doesn't look like it. So it's not difficult that Rav. Rav was explaining in Yishim and Yez. Yishim and Yez holds that it's going to be tar. In that halacha, it's going to be tar even rabbinically. But this Tana holds that this halacha of the rabbinic Tumah, which Rav is correct, all Tumah of liquids are rabbinic. He disagrees. Yes, and yes, I hold that no, that they were brazen in the mashkeh based on the chayv. So, <coughs> similar question and answer is about Tashima. The price he says, "Allah says Maratz." Depends on the definition. We have we're not talking about half. We're talking about tuma. is there's no tuma of liquids at all according to Rav, even for itself. The question was, but Yisman just said, "Okay, so they weren't brazen that in the azar." So how could this Tana say that the blood became Tama? What Tama? Tama, blood, it's a liquid. No Tama. Any, any liquid. Tama Tama is regarding Hatsha. We differentiate between Hatsha, which is making a food I'm susceptible to Tama, and there's a law of Tama itself. Is it a Matame? It doesn't become Tama. So Rav said there's no Tama for liquids at all biblical. And then, moreover, the rabbinically he has, but regarding in the basic English, they said even rabbinically he's not going to have. So how can you say it's rabbinic Tama on the blood? That Tana disagrees with Yesh and Yes, they that they were guys, but no one knows that there's a biblical Tana. Now, a similar Bryce, so the, the Bryce that says, Amat is Maratza. For what was the tzitz that the Kohen the war? What did it peace for? What did it atone for? Al Adam, regarding the blood, the labasa, and the meat, the alachelim, and on the fats, Shenitma. If they became Tame, the tzitz is Maratza. Now, as Rashi points out, not that the meat could be eaten, because the tzitz does not purify and override a negative prohibition. That says in the Torah, "Ba'abasa shigu b'chotam and lo yachal." You can't eat it. Rather, it's not safe for a Yeshua. That the Gemara brings later on the Ben Zayin and Aleph. He says, "Im ein basu ein dam." He says, "If you don't have the meat, you can't throw the blood." So what the, what the Brayser is teaching is, when did we say if there's no blood, there's no if there's no meat, there's no blood? If let's say the meat went out of the boundaries where it's allowed to be taken, then the tzitz not going to be meratza on on the meat that was taken out, or if the meat got lost. But if the meat became tummy before the blood was thrown. Then the tzitz can be meratza to permit the blood to be thrown. So even though things became tummy, that the tzitz will be meratza. And that's being the shaygi, being the nazi, whether it was done by mistake, whether it was done deliberately. And I would learn before we said no, right before we said that only the shaygi is going to work, but the is not going to work. So the Gemara later on, Kate said, Son of Pima Bays has a machlinki somewhere wrong. One says that if it became tummy, whether by mistake or deliberately, but if you throw it, it's only del- by mistake and not deliberate. One says the exact opposite. So they differentiate in their answers whether <coughs> which ones are the yeah and Mamez and not, but that's specifically regarding when it became tummy or regarding the, the, the spring of the blood. But that's how you have the Miyasha that we'll see later on that pay. That was just in case you were wondering, right? Just regarding the brace we said before. But again, this aloha that it's, it's going to be Miratza if it became tummy, whether it's by mistake or deliberately, whether it was by force or by coercion or, or willingly, whether by a carbon of, a, of an individual, whether it's a carbon of a tzibur. And Rashi points out that really maize and Ratzin are the same thing, but regarding shaygi, it, it, it's, it, it's applicable maize, and by oinus, it's applicable that of Ratzin. But, and that's why shaggy and are two different things. One's an error, and one is when you were coerced. But the opposite are all the same thing. But one thing is that we see from this place is, we said that the tzitzik memoratza for the tuma of the blood. So obviously, dam kachim is makab of tuma, and obviously then tumas mashkin is dairaisa, and therefore, since it's dairaisa, that's why the rabbani could not have been retired, the mashkin is mechayda, that's a called unrap. So we want to know, midr this tuma of the liquids is only rabbinical. This Tana holds that on the liquids of the basement of the Chayyim, you were also geyser because it's still like Yisra ben Yezer's trade. He also holds not like Yisra ben Yezer's trade, that he holds any more geyser than the Rabbanan on this master basement of the Chayyim. Moses Tashma, let's bring another eye again, not like Rav, from a Pasik in Shemais. The Pasik there is talking about the tzitz, the same thing that the previous two brasses were talking about. Pasik says, Venos Aharon, the Aaron who was the Karn Gadol who wore the tzitz, should carry us Avayin HaKadosh and the sin of the Kadosh, which is when the carbon becomes possible, it's going to be validated and Merutza through the tzitz. Now, it's not atoning for the one who eats the carbon that's coming, because it says Avayin HaKadosh and the sin of the Kadosh, it doesn't say the Oven HaKahana, 
and this is the Gan. But the Abba Nekan is Shabbat. Says the Raisa, the Chiyeza Abba Nulaisa. Now, which sin, which invalidation is the tzitz making it valid, is validated? Im Abba Nekan, if you think it's regarding the sin of Pigol, which is that if someone has an Achshava, that he wants to have it eaten, chutz and kind by, that's how Rashi explains it over here, that that's called Pigol in the Tyre. Although we usually say Pigol is chutz and in the Tyre, it says in Pasha Kedeshim, in the third day, and the Gemara Zvach and Chav Chesma Beis explains if it's not referring to Chutz as Mamek, that we already know, it's referring to Chutz from Kaima. So if someone has a mind that he wants to be eaten out of where you're allowed to eat it, there's a certain limitation where you can eat the country. So if that's what you think the Pasik is telling you that the Tzizgi be Maratza, the Rek Fan Namad, but the Pasik when he says in Yikra, lo Yiratza. No, it will not be uh, accepted willingly. So it cannot be saying on that. In Mama Neisir, everything is going on the sin of Neisir, which Rashi explains Neisir means to say the Machshava of Neisir. Which we usually call that pickle. Someone slaughtered a carbon <coughs> pickle with the intention of leaving it over beyond its time to eat it beyond that time. Because as Rashi said, if you think it's literally nicer, then what would the Gemara be saying, lo yiratza, if it's already validating the carbon, the carbon's already oh, kosher. And the moment you did the abayda with the dam a day or two before, as the price of the Torah kind of. So obviously, it must be going not on nicer itself, but actually the machshab of nicer. To have a mind to have a leftover beyond this time. But that says the Bryce and Aaron, if I know about your chashim, it really says, no, that will not be considered significant. So it can't be that it says to be Maratza on Pigal or Naisa. In the Naisa, Il Oven Tabas, so the only thing you left with says the Bryce, it must be that the only sin regarding Kachin that the Tzitz can be Maratza on is on the sin of Tum. Now, then the Bryce is, 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 is difficult. With, so wait a second. Why is Tum different than invalidations of leaving where it's allowed to be or regarding the timing that it could regard all other Pesulim? Ah, that's the device, you know why? Shohutru michlala b'tzibu. Because the carbon of tuma was totally pushed aside, that problem, when it comes to a carbon tzibu. Like it says in the Pasuk, regarding the carbon tuma, it says b'meyadeh, in its designated time. Which means say, and every day you bring the carbon tuma, whether it's Shabbos, which in Allah Malacha, whether it's tuma, it doesn't make a difference. Tuma was hutra b'tzibu. It's hutra michlala. It was totally permitted. Now, since we were so lean regarding tuma, of the carbon regarding the carbon tzibur. So we mean even regarding a carbon yachid, even though it wasn't permitted with the hila, without the tzitz, but the tzitz will be maratza on the halacha of tum. So, so now the Gemara concludes the question. My love isn't it telling us that this sin of tumah, that the tzitz will be maratza, is tumah's dam, is when the blood becomes tummy, where the only thing that you would need a reason for is only if the blood became tummy, because that's what the kapara is dependent on, is on the dam. So obviously you see the dam is makal tumma. Well, our puppet says, Lai, no, tumma is kamatz. It's actually something similar to blood, which is a machap, which you needed the atonement of that. The equivalent of the carbonus of dam, the, the kind of, the fistful of flour that permits the mincha is like what blood does regarding your carbon. And all the atonement depends on that fistful of flour. So therefore, we're saying on that is what the, the tzitz gemimuratze, if that koimitz became tumma. Now, Rashi says, truthfully, the Gemara could have answered that it's actually talking about the tumma of the meat or the fat, according to Yeshua, that we'll see later on this Masefta, that holds that you need the tzitz, because he says if there's no meat, you can't throw the blood, and then there, there will be ma'akim in the blood. But the Gemara wanted to say it according to everyone, and therefore you could say it in the kaimitz, but not necessarily in the blood. Could be the blood you wouldn't have to, because the blood doesn't have any tumma, they rise it. Now the Gemara brings the final difficulty on the final challenge to Rav. Tashima. Gemara brings a pasik <coughs> in Chagai. Chagai Hanavi was inspecting the Kahana in the second year of King Daryavish, which was when they were building the, the second base of Mikdash, to know if they were proficient in the laws of Tumma, because they forgot the laws of Tumma, because the, 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 the base of Mikdash was destroyed and they were in the exile of the Aspro, they weren't involved in Kachin, so he was testing them to see do they know the laws of Tumma. So the word, he asked him the following question. He says, Hain Yisi Ish, the Sarkhaim. If a man's going to pick up Besar Kodesh, now it doesn't mean holy meat. Rashi explains actually, like a Pasuk in Malachim Aleph, Kodesh Hayi Ba'aretz, actually refers to a shem, actually to a source of tum. So if, let's say a man's going to lift up a piece of tummy meat, meaning a shem, a dead buck, Bechnaf Big Dai, with the corner of his garment. <coughs> now, Benoga Bechnafai, now that corner of the garment where the sheret is in, which Rashi explains what that means to say is, is the sheretz itself is going to go ahead and touch other things. And Rashi says, you have to say it like this. Because if you thought it really meant not the sheretz, 
I mean, not the sherets in the garment, but the corner of the garment itself, which is then a rishon, because the sherets is a ah, and the garment would be a rishon, then the whole garment would be a rishon. Why would you have to say the corner of the garment? <laughs> the corner. The corner touched something else. The corner, what does the corner of the garment have anything to do? The corner of the garment is just like the lapel of the garment. The whole garment comes up. Obviously, says Rashi, the Gemara is pointing out, is that it touched the sherets itself the next time. What did the sherets touch? El alacha, to bread. Then the alanazim, then to the stew. Meaning the bread touched the stew. Belayayin, and then the stew touched the wine. Bel shemen, and then the wine touched the oil. Bel komachal, and here it means or to any other food item. Hayikdosh, will it become tummy this last thing? Which if you follow that cheshman like we have here on the board, that's a revi by kachim. Because the bread is a vision, the sherets is a vision, the bread is a vision, the nazid, the stew is a shemi, the yayin is a shlishi, the shemin, the oil is a revi, and this oil and the shemin is of the sachem. We have this in the basin English of the libations. You have the, 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 they have wine and oil. So beyond the khan, we have, so the khan, they answered, they said, no, no, it's not going to become tummy. Now we continue to have a good zayin, the madalav, the amarav, and Rav says it's going to be called later on, as we'll say in the next half. Ishtabush Kahani, they kind of made a mistake. They made an error. Why? Because they said that a Raviva Kachim is tar. Okay. But one thing we see is that the wine and oil, which are the mashki basement, the chaya, the liquids of the butchering house, are tame. Now, if you hold a grab, the Thomas Mashkin is only rabbinic, but you said from Yesi ben Yezer that you weren't geyser in the mashki basement, the chaya. So even if you're going to say that the Thomas, that Chagi was asking the Kahanim, was Rabbinic Tama, and you're going to say that the Tama was already glazed, and the Rabbinic Tama was already glazed in the times of Tanakh, in the days of Chagi Anave, which from the people of Anshay Knesset Gdele, it's still difficult on Rav, because he said that the Mashki based on the Chai Dochim Mamish are not only that they're not Matam other things, they don't become Tama themselves. And for sure, if the Pasuk's Toma Biblical Law, it's for sure to be Tama on Rav. And you can't say, like we have answered the previous question, oh, it's going to be Rabbinic, and this Tana holds not like these many as it. It's not a it's not a tana, it's a pasik. It sounds like that there is tama for these liquids, whether it be their extra banan, either way it's difficult on Rav, who says that there's no tama at all with the raisa. Says the Gemara, me do time a ill rav. In other words, the whole question is only going according to Rav. But Rav, according to him, is not gonna be difficult, because the truth is Chagai was inspecting them regarding rabbinic tama. Because yes, although it's a pasik in Tanakh, there's already the rabbinic decree on tama of liquids in the times of Chaganah. And Rav, according to Yisim and Yez, is not difficult. Why not? Because Rav Mashkin based mit b'chayotani. He teaches in the testimony of Yisim, is the liquid specifically of the beverages of the butchering house. What's in the butchering house? We are slaughtering animals. There's blood and there's water. That was taught in the base of English. That's what Tani, that's what he learned. Of a Mashkin based mit b'chayotani with a dalit. The word, it means of zebach, of mizbeach. But that of the liquids of the altar, which is the wine and the shaman, which those are the liquids of the altar, that metame, neither of the world guys are tama on that. And that's actually what the Pasik is talking about, that you can see that it was rabbinic tama, that the liquids are always tar with their raisa. But the order of the tamas of that Pasik is oichel metama oichel and mashke metama mashke, which if you recall we pointed out in the previous half, that's only rabbinically that's going to make tama kayetzeba. Obviously it's rabbinic law. And regarding that rabbinic law, they were geyser, a mashke be mit b'chaya, but not mit b'chaya. The liquids of the butchering house are going to be the blood and water from the basement b'chaya, the butchering area, that's not going to be tama, that they weren't geyser, because it's rabbinic. The wine and the oil from basement b'chayi, which he was asking them, Chaganavi, that's rabbinic, and you know it's rabbinic, because it was oichel and oichel and mashke and mashke, you know it's rabbinic, that's what he's saying, that that is going to be done. So we're discussing today's daf, in Pesach and daf, Tezayim, was parenthetical, from the previous b'risa that we were explaining, we wanted to say the machlekes, the mayor and Rebiesi, regarding what Rebiesi was saying, if it's min amido or not, can you learn out the mayor's case on burning Truma Tahira with the Tmeya from the law of Reb Chanina that we said was dependent on their Shita? If you say the Thomas of Mashkin, the Tama Chemer, that's in the Raisa Dramanam, you said the mayor holds that can be rabbinic, and therefore the Chinin's Khan's case was only rabbinic, and therefore that's the same thing as the mayor's case of Tuma Tahira and Tuma Tahira. He said it was the Raisa, and therefore you couldn't learn out the Chinin's Khan's Khan case because his case was the Raisa. Now, once we introduced that Raisa, in that Raisa we said that the He's Kedvarov of Reb Meir, which what did Reb Meir say? He said, regarding Suffolk, Mashkin, Lee, Tamei, and Lee, because that is the Eraisa. 
And then, however, we're going to be able to tell me other things that he says tar, because that's only Dirabam. And that the Gemara says, wait a second, Rebbe Laz himself testified from Yeshim and Yeezer to Halachas. One of them was, the first one was regarding a certain type of grass, but that is kosher. The second one was regarding Beish, Mashkin Beish Mit Mechaya, that they're dochen, that they're tar. Now, what that even means is that, according to Rav, is that it doesn't even have their own tumma midaraisa. So according to Rav, that it says dochen mamish, Haigen resolved the contradiction. Rebbe Laza is saying like Remeir, that holds that Tamas Asman is there, right? So that's why suddenly Tame is Tame. And you cannot say, oh, the Rebbe Laza was only like one of the teachings of Remeir, only regarding the halacha of Mim then it's going to be tar, because he says kedivara, which is plural. This is the chen. That was the most difficult on Rav. Seems to be a contradiction in Rebbe Laza. Now, once we introduced that, we went and to discuss this Malachi Rav and Shmuel regarding this testimony of Yisim and Yis. Is a dachi, and Shmuel says that it's dachi only from a mitami other thing. But Thomas Asma, yes, there they have Toma the Iraisa. As the Gemara explains, the Iraisa. And they weren't geyser, however, only regarding what? Only regarding the mitami other things. The problem was, the Pasi says, If you tell me that the liquids have Toma the Iraisa, so then the cut of meat, when it touches it, it tells you explicitly in the term of the you tell me that you are in Goyza Mashkin based on the Chai, so that it shouldn't be the time of the meat in the base of Migdash. What's the point? Even though that you're going to cool in the base of Migdash, it says that will you also. So the Gemara says, and you also, you can't say, oh, oh, just like Ravi by Kaidish, that it's Tame, but it's not Mitami other things. Because there it's not called Tame. But here it's called Tame. So if it's called Tame, it's automatically touching the Chal Tame. So it should be Mitami of the meat. The Gemara says, it's Kaidish, it's definitely difficult, according to Shmuel. Then the Gemara has six questions on Ra. He holds that it doesn't have even Thomas Atzma. And even that Thomas only rabbinically. I have a pasta. It says in the pasta, so explicitly that the liquids are going to have a lot of Thomas. says the Gemara, no, that's only be, to be Mach. But the, the, the ratio of the pasta already says Hash. Yeah, you need both. The ratio of the pasta is told about when it's attached to the ground, that would say it's in its place. If it's Chash, then it could be Mach. The same would tell you regarding pollution, and that we would also say that's only Chash because Hashabina, you made it significant. I take it out, and therefore you need to have both to say that they're matching. Then the Gemara, before it asked on that interpretation, brought another question. It says in the Pasik, however, ah, mayin, the bar, mikvah, mayin, yitar, says explicitly that only when it's attached to the ground, then the water is not going to become tummy, because it's attached to the ground. It sounds like when it's attached, it will become tummy. See, Thomas Atzman, Deiraisa. No, that's going on. Something that's tummy, that if you put it into a mikvah, into a mayin, it will become tar. And it's coming to exclude it, but mayin, shuv, and draw water, that's not. But then the Gemara goes and asks on the first answer we gave that we said that, oh, it's not regarding Thomas Atzman, it's told about regarding the Yimachsha. So he said the same of the Pasuk, the whole cleave is not regarding that it becomes Tommy in the cleave, that if it was detached, it will be Yimachsha. I says the Gemara, how could you say that? But regarding the Mashkin basement, Machaya, not only regarding what we said, that we that Machlik is Rabbi Shmuel, regarding Dachin, that regarding Toma, there's another halacha related to laws of Toma regarding Machsha. We said that it's not Machsha. So how can you say? That mid the rice says machshur. If 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 regarding bish machshur is machshur, we're saying it's not. If it, it, it must be rabbinic because the rice you can't remove a pebble come off. So the Gemara says no, you're right. The water in the machshur is machshur is machshur. Tirgum explained that halacha that's not machshur on dam. Why? Because dam of kachim is not nishpach kamayim because you need to do kabbalah on it, and therefore it's only dam nishpach kamayim like the pasuk equates dam to mayim on that is machshur. I, what do you do with the Dhamma Tamsis? That it does spill like water and it's not Mahsha. Says the Gemara, ah, that's even my Khun. Why? Because not the blood that the soul leaves with. And there is not called Dham to be considered Mashka, because Dham is only that which is Dham Chalom, only that which the life blood leaves from. Remember another writing, not like Rav, he said blood that became Tommy, and you threw it on the Mizbeah. By Mishlegi, you threw it, amazing, it's like Hortsa. But one thing that we see is that the Dham is obviously becoming Tommy. How's it becoming Tommy? You tell me there's no tumma. Obviously, the rice says no. It's midirabana. But when I thought dirabana, they weren't geyser. No, that tumma holds. Not like Yisman Yazi. Similarly, the fourth one that was also similar regarding the law of the tzitzvi maratza on the tumma, on the dam. You see that it has. No, it's only rabbinically. And again, not like Yisman Yazi. The fifth question was also similar. It says the positive of Nasa on this, why not So the, the rice ultimately explained that it's only going to be for the sin of tumma. Now, so you see that. One of them was Buster and Caleb and Dom. So no, it's not going to his Dom, it's going to him of Kamatsa. 
The, that is what's machapra. That's what's ma'akim in the kapara, not the dam, because dam actually not. Kamatsim regarding the flower, meaning the zikun of what the blood is. And the final question was from a pasim in Chagat. Then he asked him regarding a case of a sheretz that touched bread, which touched the nazi, which touched the wine, which touched the shemen, and that is a revid by Kaidish, and that's the mashkin of Nazar, and we see that you're telling that they made a mistake that his tummy. She see that the mashkin and the mismate the short tummy. Gemara, no, according to Rab, he owns only mashkin based mit b'chayim. That is what we say is talking about the and therefore it's going to be talking about the mikdash. The mashkin based mit b'chayim, although it's also talking about the raisa, but there it is going to be talking because rabbinically we say the mashkin are going to be talking about the mashkin with It's only Thomas Asman that they're not going to have mit b'chayim. Thank you for any time. Thank you.